into the first bend. David Warren of Great Britain taking over the lead. And in this as well, a race within a race for the third place in the British 1500 metre team in Moscow between young Steve Cram, only 19, wearing number 37, and Graham Williamson of Springworth Harriers in Scotland, wearing number 38. And it's a sudden death race for them. The leader, Dave Warren, Steve Ovet in second place. Third at the moment is Eber. Or rather, it's not Eber of uh, Ethiopia. It's uh, Khalifa of the Sudan in third place. Steve Cram is four, Graham Williamson five, and Eber in sixth place. David Warren wearing 39. Already chosen for the Olympic 800 metres. In good form. On Sunday, he won a race here in Norway in a personal best 800 metre time of 1.46.2. Warren leads. Ovet, who's seen Co smash the world record for 1,000 metres earlier, he's in second place. 400 metres, 55.5. Well, we knew Ovet was looking for something fast tonight, but uh, Dave Warren's taken them off very fast indeed. Looks around, Ovet's there. Khalifa, still in third place. Not for a university student. Uh, Steve Cram, fourth, and Graham Williamson struggling a little bit in fifth place. And this uh, Olympic trial for Williamson has come at a bad time. He's been unlucky enough for the past 10 days to have a very, very heavy cold indeed. Restricted his training and his racing. And he's losing touch with Steve Crammers in fourth place. And looks at the moment to be on his way into the Olympic team. Cram, 19 years old from Jarrow. A personal best of 335.6 behind Ovid for 1,500 metres last weekend. And Williamson is way out of touch at the moment. That shows the gap, and the distance is about 10 to 12 metres. Two laps gone. Warren leading, Ovet second, Cram third, Khalifa four, Williamson five, Eber six. 153.5, right on schedule for something very fast indeed. But Ovet surely will have to go alone in the closing stages. And last week, of course, at 1,500 metres, when he was left out in front, he didn't produce an awful lot, but uh, Ovid is not a great racer against the watch. Unlike Co, who can uh, run against people and against the clock, Ovid prefers the opposition to be in the form of people. But he's left alone in front now, and Steve Cram chasing him. Cram will be looking to consolidate that position rather than race Ovid. He wouldn't want to be overtaken in the closing stages by Williams. Ovid absolutely clear, 12 metres clear. Coming up to complete three quarters of a mile. Over to Leeds, Cram second, Khalifa third, Williamson four, Eber five. The time at three laps, two minutes, 51 seconds. The world record held by Sebastian Coe at 3.49, and it's in real danger. He needs a 58 second last lap, and he's really showing an appetite for the battle now. Roared on by this mob of enthusiasts, nearly 30,000 of them. Cram in second place as Ovid majestically approaches the 200 metre mark. 200 to go! And he's right on schedule for the world record. Williamson has moved through to third place but won't catch Cram. And it's Great Britain one, two and three. But Ovid is the master. But responding to this crowd. <laughs> 50 metres left. 45, 46, 47, 48. He's very, very close to the world record. Steve Cram in second place. Graham Williamson third. Well, Cram goes to Moscow. Williamson has wait very unluckily for another go in four years' time. But that is very, very close to the world record. We can't tell you what the time is. It's around 3.49. Very close to Coe's world record, which is 3.49. And what a magnificent night for British athletics. It really is. We've had two British records already. Adam Wells in the 200, Jocelyn Hoyt-Smith in the women's 400, Heather Hunter victory in the 100 metres, Cathy Smallwood in the 200 metres, Keith Connor in the triple jump, Laura Booth in the hurdles, and now Ovet on his way round the track, applauding the crowd that applauded him so generously and helped him along the way to one of the fastest times in history. We still don't know what the time is. Looking at the world all time list, Sebastian Coe, the world record holder, 3 minutes 49. John Walker, 3.49.4. Steve Ovet himself in third place on the all time list at 3.49.6. 
He's definitely improved on that. And dare I say it, on the unofficial watch, we've got him inside the world record, but we must still wait for the official timing. In this Bisler Stadium, where 35 world records have already been set over the years since 1972, it could be that we've seen another. There's a manual timing been passed up to us of 3 minutes 48.8. That does not count for world record purposes, but is inside the world record. Harry Wilson is coached there in the blue tracksuit top. Has a word with over to Andy Norman, who's uh, with this British team over here and promotes so many meetings back at home. Turns away from over, who goes on his way, and still we must wait to see whether, in fact, Steve Ovid has cracked his first world record. Ovid, the great racer, the supreme racer, unbeaten now in 42 races over a mile and 1,500 metres, and perhaps now has the magic world record figures beside his name as well. Sebastian Coe, of course, set this world record 12 months ago at these very games at 3 minutes 49. That's a magnificent run, and the crowd applauding. We still haven't had it confirmed up here. They've probably been given the manual timing at 3.48.8. Well, this has been the most unforgettable night for British athletics. And what a marvellous team we've got, and what a pity the Moscow games have been scarred. It's the hand timing that's been announced at 3.48.8. And what a battle it's going to be in Moscow when Steve Cram makes up the third of a great British trio along with Sebastian Coe. So, and at last, the word is through. The timer is officially shown at 3 minutes 48.7 seconds. A new world record for Steve Ovitz.